Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Right now, we are rolling with a 10 video winning streak. The last 10 videos that I uploaded have all cast. So let's keep it going on this Thanksgiving day. Uh, we're starting with game one, Lions versus Bears. Let's do it. Welcome to The Source. The Source. The Source. All right, we got Chicago on the road here in Detroit. The line is Lions plus three and a half, and all the action is on Detroit. I'm talking about 82% of the money on the Lions. This is as of Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Yo, so check this out. So the books drop the line from three and a half down to three. Now, when it hits three, here comes that Chicago Bears money. Now, here we are on Wednesday night. The line's now Detroit plus three, but the money is only 57% on the lines now as opposed to 82 where it was yesterday morning so let's cap this game if you subscribe to this channel you already know the first step we're running the numbers through the spreadsheet uh, according to the analytics the line for this game should be detroit plus 0.73 so about a two and a half point lean on the lions there all right let's run through a quick breakdown and we'll start with the bears offense no justin fields it's looking like so we're gonna have the red rifle andy dalton starting on thanksgiving day in detroit so we saw a little bit of andy dalton last week he took over halfway through the third quarter still managed to rack up 201 passing yards and two touchdowns in that game a game that they eventually lost now Keep in mind that Justin Fields, when he was in in the first half, they missed a 39-yard field goal. Uh, they also lost a fumble in Ravens territory. So if you just look at the numbers, it may look like, oh, wow, the offense was way better than Andy Dalton. Uh, but that's not 100% accurate. He threw a screen in the flats that ran, went for 60 yards. But the point of this video isn't to determine whether or not the Bears offense is better with Dalton or Fields. The point of this video is for us to win this bet. Um, and the truth is, no matter who's playing quarterback for Chicago, they should have no problem throwing the ball on the Detroit Lions, who are 31st in the NFL in opponents' passing yards per attempt. They're also 31st in the NFL in sack. Whether Allen Robinson plays in this game or not, Chicago should still put the ball in the end zone two or three times regardless. So let's switch it up. Let's switch it over to the Bears defense. And whenever you're talking Bears defense this year, everyone's going to bring up Cleo Mack, right? He's out for the year, or they're going to bring up Akeem Nix, Akeem Nix, Akeem Hicks, uh, who missed four or five games this year. He's questionable. He may not play in this one. You know who people should be bringing up when it comes to the Bears defense? Robert Quinn, who has 10 sacks already. He's fifth in the NFL in sacks, and the Bears, believe it or not, are tied for first in the NFL in sacks as a team. So even without Cleo Mack, even without Akeem Hicks, this team gets to the quarterback. Here's the thing, though, when it comes to the Bears defense, other than getting to the quarterback, they don't really do anything else good. Uh, let me break out some pro football focus ratings for you. Uh, they are rated 25th in pass coverage, 28th in run defense, 28th in tackling. I mean, other than rushing the, uh, rushing the passer, the Bears defense struggles in almost every other defensive area. Listen, I'm going to stop this video right here. I don't care if Jared Goff plays or not. I don't care if Allen Robinson plays or not. The truth is, I think the Chicago Bears are a much better team than Detroit. And Montgomery, Herbert, and Mooney, even without Allen Robinson, are, that's plenty enough weapons to outscore this Lions team. There's a reason they're 0-8-1, and their tie came against Mason Rudolph. That's who it was, Mason Rudolph. The Bears are a much better team. Coming off a bad loss, they'll get this one. Give me Chicago minus three. I like it. I wouldn't say I love it. It'll probably be a .75 unit play on the final ticket. Speaking of which, final ticket be posted on kylekerms.com. Let's say 9.30, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going to put it out because everyone's got to get where they're going early for family stuff. 9.30, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Every play for every sport. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I'll definitely put it on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bets. Happy Thanksgiving to all. We're having a nice little winning streak here. Uh, we hit on college football the other night. We're having a, we had a great weekend last weekend. Let's keep that rolling. Finally, that horrible October. It's, it's way in the past. We're doing great. Let's keep it rolling. Let's make some money on this turkey day.